He, he term limited himself out. He was great <laughs> in the role, but he, he chose to step away and, and uh, you know, embark on the arts uh, in his own form. Tim, you had a question? Well, not a <coughs> question so much as a comment. Um, Tom brought up some interesting p points there. Um, it is true that the MAC hasn't officially met since uh, staff presented this proposal, but um, I, as liaison with the Moscow Arts Commission, uh, was asked by the chair, their chair to uh, speak in, in favor of this proposed commission. Um, I had that, uh, I guess, privilege from the uh, Arts Commission's uh, chairperson and spoke favorably about this proposal at uh, um, the admin committee last week. So, so uh, David Geese, Geese also spoke in favor of it. Uh, the testimony that we took, um, and we did take some tests, some public comment uh, at the admin committee uh, level, um, seemed to generally support uh, what staff has proposed tonight. And just one other thing, what I really initially had stuck my finger in the air for. <laughs> Gary, on your slide, um, I, the second to the bottom, yes, where it says uh, total revenue over expenses, can I presume that what that intends it's to flipped. say is is uh, that the expenses are fifty four thousand dollars <laughs> higher mm -hmm. in general? Yes, than I'm revenue? sorry, we just got dy <laughs> okay. dyslexic on that bottom. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thank and you. these are for Gary before he continues, all right? No, Who is next? It's a response to Tom's comments, if I may. Go ahead. Um, Tom, in the same vein as, as Tim just talked about the Arts Commission, uh, an email from uh, this afternoon from a member of the uh, Farmers Market Advisory Committee states that they have had an informal meeting after the March 11 administrative meeting and there seemed to be general Farmers Market Advisory Board's support of the draft ordinance with several areas of concern. Those areas of concern have to do with the, the makeup, a question about the terms, and a question about um, the fact that the MAC does not have any proposed representation on the commission. But this email does not indicate that the advisory committee's got a problem with the concept of a commission. So. I hear what you're saying, but I'm not hearing it from the people you're concerned about. Dan? Uh, speaking of, to the uh, terms, or <clears throat> should we decide to go ahead, fo go forward with this, would we uh, <clears throat> stagger the uh, expiration of those terms so that, you know, we, we <laughs> got a, one of your vendors might be a one and a two and a three so, so that things will stagger out as far as, do we need to codify that, or is that just going to be something that? No, in the mayor's in the mayor's appointment, what she would do is offer three terms of one year, three terms of two years, three terms of three years. How it's mixed up, we would okay. we would try to seek a balance so that you have continuing representation, uh, and then those commissioners' terms would come up at the end of those staggered terms. And then they would pick up at three years after okay. that, uh, which is typically the way it's done. Walter, and and in that same vein. That staggering does not to be in the ordinance that's before us. It will no. just be done administratively. Uh, it'll be done through the mayor's office, yes. Executively. Yes. Uh, if I can make one comment about yes. representation, I know it's been uh, voiced that there's not a uh, member of the Moscow's Arts Commission on this commission. Typically, members of other commissions are not members of commissions. They're, the Transportation Commission is one, ex one uh, exception to that. Um, it is a sister commission, however, and over the past several years, that communication among commissions has uh, is at an all-time high. Uh, as you saw with the Transportation Commission, Fair and Affordable Housing Commission, um, uh, Human Rights Commission, and I'm missing one, but uh, oh, Planning and Zoning Commission on the Highway 95 um, alternate Fair house. Uh, fair housing, exactly. So it was, uh, those commissions are being called upon all the time to interact and have been invited to interact with other commissions. It's our hope that there is still a big arts component in a portion of the market. Um, 
Kathleen, as you see up there, uh, there are program expenses of almost $10,600 for entertainment for the market. So there's obviously still a large interactive component here. Um, the council um, indicated as the, stat the terms were something that uh, administrative committee wanted to talk about. We did that. Um, there are also uh, there are two items where uh, commissioners can be removed. One involves if a commissioner can be removed for any reason at the uh, behest of the mayor with the confirmation of the council, just as a commissioner can be placed on a commission. And the second is the mayor without council approval may remove a commissioner if that commissioner has missed three consecutive meetings without uh, excuse from the chair. So that's more of an administrative matter. Um, and as Randy indicated uh, when this came through, um, you will be seeing on a different note uh, some revised commission uh, ordinances be coming through over the next several months to try and, and uh, uh, I guess, uh, make these standard throughout our, our code. So with that, um, I know that Linda Paul, who you all remember as being a member of this August body for four and a half terms, um, sent some comments. Uh, she had dialysis today and sends her apologies that she cannot be here. Has asked that, she did send you a note and has asked that um, I at least touch on a couple of her uh, issues. Um, so with, uh, if you're willing to indulge me in that, I will try to be less verbose than Linda's five-page letter. If she's watching, I apologize. Uh, so if, with the please, please do. council's indulgence, thank you. <coughs> um, the mayor, or excuse me, the mayor. Uh, Dr. Paul indicates that she has reviewed uh, the strategic plan and she does not agree with most of it. Um, she indicates the city's involvement uh, in the for and responsibility for the market must continue. The city must remain responsible for the market through a city commission model with the city retaining responsibility for the public streets and sidewalks and administration of the market. Uh, some recommendations. Expand the market. Uh, do not relocate 4th Street to a truck-oriented space. I don't know if you want to go through all of these since they aren't directly related to the commission. Please. Okay. I think she okay. asked that you touch on all okay. of your numeric points there. I'm so. happy to do yeah. so. I mean, uh, and we should clarify, Linda, her other moniker was uh, Market Mama. She feels like this, she hatched this thing, helped uh, <laughs> nurture it from I its cannot. fledgling stage. So she's well acquainted. She says she has more than a passing interest in what is the city's most marvelous weekly community project from May to October each year. I was one of the original supporters of the market 35 years ago. I became the market, quote, mama, close quote, an organizer through 1982 as the market migrated from behind the old post office, now City Hall, to the newly renovated Friendship Square, all with a $3 per week fee for arts programming. So, yes, she has quite the history with the market. Uh, secondly, she indicates that she would... Uh, recommend retention of the central role of Friendship Square to the market, uh, all of its customers, and the entire community. Uh, she notes the uh, free speech area. Um, do not move the, the play structure. Uh, keep the entertainment aspects. Uh, the fountain remains an asset where it is. Uh, Friendship Scare Square is a huge contribution to the livability of the market and the focus of positive responses of customers and visitors. She also supports marketing the market, uh, promote the market to grad students at both universities, new student orientation. Expand the appeal of the market to area farmers, recruit Lewiston and Clarkson area, Kendrick, Julieta, and even Walla Walla in the Tri-Cities. Work with Latok County and Eastern Whitman County to encourage zoning for small acreage farming options um, as are going on in the city. Uh, develop a bathroom in the Jackson Street lot. Sue didn't even smile about that. I'm, so, I'm still working I on, smiled about I'm it. I'm still working on my Trevi fountain. But, Madam Mayor, mm -hmm. sure. I appreciate Ms. Paul's input, but mm -hmm. the question before us is creation of a commission. Um, I would certainly think that this entire uh, five-page letter should go to the commission should we decide to create one. But, I mean, <clears throat> We're going to talk about a downtown restroom later tonight on another topic. 
I mean, I appreciate every one of her points. I think they're all valid. I think they all should be considered, but that's not the topic before us at the moment. Right. She, I think Linda's comments are pertinent to the uh, five-year strategic plan, and I think in this context, <coughs> it's it's uh, it's pertinent. I, and Gary is just picking the high points talk, out we, of it. Yeah, we can not talk about incorporating he's not reading, if you'd like to, but that's not part of the commission question that's before us. Well, I think there is discussion about that in the strategic plan, though, so... But we're not adopting the strategic plan. Gary, does we're Linda have more, more comments that are more particular to the um, commission in there? Yes, or there's the one more pertinent paragraph, I think, and that piece. would be uh, about it. Um, funding for the market expansion can be available with city help. Um, that we simply do not have the cash for the proposed fountain in place structure relocations. Uh, and the market does well in providing an open, inviting atmosphere for people shopping and enjoying Moscow's weekly special event. Enhance the existing arrangements rather than reorganizing so much of the market. That works so well. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. And I appreciated Linda's input. Uh, we probably should set her mind at ease and, and let the public know as well that on the consent agenda tonight, item 1F was Friendship Square Fountain Pump and Wiring Replacement Project. So. Uh, it sounds like the fountain is going to be around yeah. there for a while. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, with that, that is the uh, first item to come before the council tonight. Uh, do you wish me to talk about the second item, or do you wish to pass on the commission first? Yeah, I'd like let's, to keep them separate. Let, all right, let's let's do that. Um, so we'll just hold off, Walter. Uh, regarding the commission, Gary, do we have any commissions that have the phrase advisory in their title? I don't believe that we do. It is proposed tonight that this be the Far Farmer's Market Advisory Commission. Was there a reason for that as opposed to just Farmer's Market Commission? I, I don't it see, just that. Says, I see that either. It's in just, the title of the ordinance. Mm, no. Section 5-1, commission established. There is hereby established a Farmer's Market Advisory Commission. The word commission, mm. when used herein, shall mean the Farmer's Market Advisory Commission. It is in the title yeah, as the well. Title. And it's in the title as well? Yeah. Yeah. We Certainly that was just, I, I don't know if it was a nod to the farm or the Farmer's Market Advisory uh, Board that is in place now, but certainly that can be taken out. It doesn't change it at all. But I'm not sure I know whether I care, but it just caught my eye that we don't have a Transportation Advisory Committee or a Fair Housing make Advisory a com Commission. Um, I, I don't know if it weakens it by having advisory in there, possibly. If I may, Please. I don't know that it weakens it. It may cause some confusion if you don't want to read the body of the ordinance or the body of the code. I would recommend that we remove advisory. Farmers Market Commission certainly describes the commission. We could certainly make that change. Walter? If I may. And the, under the purpose and duties, Section 5 2, Gary, the Farmers Market Commission would have no management role of the farmer's market operation. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And again, mm -hmm. um, the arts director would still be the manager at this time at least for at the foreseeable point. future. This, it'll be the manager of the farmer's market. Yes. And, and if I may, that again was one of the, of the discussions in the strategic plan was what should the management be? Should the um, arts director do it? Should there be a full-time staff member, so on and so forth? Th those are all issues that can be vetted out by the commission. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Sue, the, uh, did you chair the admin committee when this <laughs> yes, was discussed? I, did. Right. I was just waiting for all these good things. Yeah. 